Now, please welcome Presiding Officer of the Irish Senate, Jerry Buttimer, to the stage. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I guess we were all out late last night. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Much better. Um, Ambassador from Ireland to the United States of America, Geraldine Bournason, uh, Ambassador Newis, dear friends and colleagues, members of Congress, Senator Malcolm Bourne from the Irish Oireachtas Parliament, it's great to be back with Victory and thank you for being here this morning on what is an auspicious day, World AIDS Day. And this morning, can I ask before we begin that we remember our friends and family members who are no longer with us, thanking them for their service and praising the men and women who today have made HIV and AIDS much better than what it was. Friends, we meet at a time of great opportunity, but one where we have challenges. And can I begin my remarks this morning by saying that every one of us in this room has a very critical role and job to play in ensuring that the progress we have made in this great country, in Ireland and across the world, does not go back. We do not regress. We continue to move forward. And we challenge those who challenge us like we've never done before. And when you leave here this weekend to go home to your districts and your communities, I want you to have fire in your belly that next year and the year after and the year after, we will keep fighting. Because if we don't, we're going back to where we were. And the closet is no place for out gay politicians. <laughs> I'm very proud to be the first out speaker of the Irish Parliament to be here. We've an out. We have an out gay Taoiseach, and with Senator Byrne and I, we've just formed a, an equality caucus in our Congress with nine members making change in Ireland, following on from the great work of marriage equality, where 62% of the people voted in a referendum to say yes, that we can wear a wedding ring to be married to the person we love. And that's an important part for all of us. And the contrast is this dear friends and colleagues, a few years later, women's reproductive rights were on the ballot and the Irish people voted in bigger numbers to give the women the right to choose their own bodily care. But we are now faced like never before with a challenge across the world. President Biden very often refers to the word the world's at an inflection point, and he's right. And many people think because marriage equality has been passed in 35 countries that the roof is on the house. And as you know, it's not. The culture war is not just in America, it's spreading across the world. And I'm hopeful that we will, with our trans community and friends and family, overcome the hate and the violence and the misinformation that is being spread. But we cannot let this opportunity pass without us becoming more clever, more focused, more determined. And that means investing our money wisely, using research like we've never done before. And it means going into red states, in your case, and having those conversations and challenging the people, like Senator Byrne and I did yesterday on Capitol Hill in a nice way, to have that conversation with gay people, recognizing that our values are the same as theirs, in some cases. So this morning, I've come with optimism, with joy in my heart to be in a room full of people who want to run for election and who have been elected, who will make a difference at every level across this great country and around the world. But we cannot speak in an echo chamber on Twitter, or X, and we cannot speak in this room to ourselves. We must go out beyond 
and be in a sense the evangelist of equality and of love, but more importantly, of putting legislation and laws in place in education, in the workplace, and in every community across the world. And I was in Sierra Leone early this year in Africa, where members of the gay community were killed, put in jail, and discriminated against, and afraid, but they were courageous in their work. And so as I conclude my remarks, I'm very honored to be asked to speak here today. Mayor Parker does a great job. All of you in this room are friends of mine for many years, making a difference. But I want you to finish in this note, to leave this conference conscious of you have one chance, one opportunity to make our place a better place and there's strength in what we do. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your work and let's enjoy the conference. Grimaldov.